Tell me a fact and I will learn from it. Tell me the truth and I'll believe it. But tell me a story and it will stay in my heart forever. Once there was a water bearer, a girl whose responsibility was to carry water from the stream to her mistress's house on top of the mountain. And for that, she had two pots, which she strung on a stick and carried it on her shoulder. Every day, she would reach the stream and fill the pots with water, then hang it on her shoulder and walk up with a smile and a song. Soon she realized that while one pot was complete and whole, the other pot had a little flaw. There was a tiny hole from which water would drip out and by the time she reached the top of the mountain, there was little less water. But it did not bother her. In fact, it gave her an idea. She soon went to her mistress and with some help gathered seeds. They were flowering seeds and she scattered them on the path leading from the stream to the house on top of the mountain. Many years passed and she had one night a very strange dream. In that dream, one of the pots, the pot with the hole, was speaking to her and it said, My dear girl, you are so hard working, but I, I have not been of help to you. Every day you collect water from the stream, but by the time you reach the top, I have little less water. I have not been of help to you. I have in fact hindered all the effort by not being perfect. I am not complete. Well, the little girl in her dream spoke to the very same pot with a smile she said, Oh, little pot, why do you worry and fret so much? I know you have a flaw, but then that is of use to me too. Well, you see, I strewed the path with seeds and now can you not see I have flowers? Every day I gather them and I take them to my mistress and we are so happy that your little flaw has helped us grow all these flowers. The pot seemed very happy to hear this and the next morning when she woke up she had a bigger smile on her face. Now she looked at both the pots, the complete one and the one with the tiny little hole, the flawed one and felt how these two had their strengths and even a flaw can be of use to someone somewhere. And then that makes us realize that flaws do have strengths. And also, what a kind water bearer. So tell me, who is the water bearer in your life? And are you the water bearer in somebody's life?